So substrate level phosphorylation, so this is going on here. We have compounds that have phosphates attached. They have to get rid of those phosphates, and the phosphates can be added enzymatically to ADP to make ATP. So substrate level phosphorylation is actually a very straightforward thing. You're simply taking a phosphorylated compound. That phosphate on that compound is being added to ADP to make ATP. This is a representation of ATP. It's a phosphorylated ADP, so it's an adenosine diphosphate plus a phosphate, so adenosine triphosphate. So that's substrate level phosphorylation. That's seen twice in glycolysis, and then it's seen again once in uh, the Krebs citric acid cycle. This requires specific enzymes, um, and so it's, uh, it's a relatively limited reaction in what it can do because there's only so many types of enzymes out there. It contrasts with oxidative phosphorylation, the other way that ATP is made, in which you have this common unit of exchange of these proton motive forces. Anything you can do to make the pump protons, you can then tap the pump protons to make more ATP.